Uh, hi everyone. So in this video, I will go through this example for which we have two systems, system number, or we can call them uh, system A and B. And we have this kind of inputs. So we have input equal to 5, 5t, or 5t squared for t bigger than or equal to 0. And we would like to find out the steady state error for this system, for these inputs in it. OK, so we can start by taking into account the system A. And we want to calculate limit of the error signal as t goes towards infinity, which we know is equal to limit of s times e of s as s goes towards zero. On the other hand, we know that e is equal to s of s, the sensitivity function, times r of s. As a result, our steady state error is equal to this limit, limit of s times s of s times r of s as s goes towards zero. And furthermore, we know that s of s, the sensitivity function, is equal to 1 over 1 plus l of s. And for this system, we, we can see that l of s is equal to 120 times s plus 2 over s plus 3 times s plus 4. All right, so we can go, uh, we can start by taking into account one of the input signals. I will call it 1. In this case, r is equal to 5 for t bigger than or equal to 0. As a result, in the Laplace domain, the Laplace trans transform of R, the signal will be equal to 5 over S. So it's 5 times 1 over S, which results in 5 over S. Uh, so we can continue writing down the, the limit, limit of E as t goes towards zero, towards infinity, is equal to this limit, limit of s times 1 over 1 plus l of s, which is this transfer function here, s plus 2, s plus 3, s plus 4, times R of S, which is 5 over S. And S goes towards C. So this will be equal to limit of S going to 0. So these two S's will cancel out each other. We will have 5 over 1 plus L of S again as S goes towards 0, and this will result in 5 over 1 plus 120 times 2 over 3 times 4. And if we simplify it, we will have 5 over 1 plus 20. If, yeah, I'm not wrong. Here we will have 12 and after simplification, we will have 20. As a result, for case 1 of A, we have steady state error equal to 5 over 21. Now we can take, consider the second case for A, where our input, R, is given as 5t. 
5 times t for t bigger than or equal to 0. And in the Laplace domain, r will be equal to 5 over s squared. So we can continue doing the same thing here as well. So we have limit of e equal to this limit, s times 1 over 1 plus l of s times r of s as s goes towards 0, which will be equal to this limit, limit of s times 1 over 1 plus l of s times 5 over s squared. So 1 s at the numerator will be cancelled with this s at the denominator. We know that the uh, limit of l ls as limit of l of s as s goes towards 0 is some finite value. It's indeed 120 times 2 over 12, which is 20. So this will be equal to here s goes towards 0. As a result, steady state error will be equal to this limit, limit of 5 over 1 plus 20 times s as s goes towards 0, and this will be equal to infinity. So for this case, for the second input, for the uh, system of uh, for this system for system A second input steady state error will be equal to infinity we can go for what take the next input into account r of t is equal to 5 t squared, so we have 5 t squared for t bigger than or equal to 0, and therefore r of s is equal to, uh, so we can rewrite this as 2 times 5 t squared over 2, or 10 times t squared over 2, which is uh, e was 10 times 1 over s to the power of 3 as the input signal. And if we calculate the limit for the steady state for the error, the limit as t goes towards infinity for the steady state error, you will have the similar thing as we had for the previous cases, s times 1 over 1 plus l of s times rs as s goes towards 0, and this will give us limit of s times 1 over 1 plus 20 times 10 over s to the power of 3. So again, one of s is in the denominator will be cancelled with 1 in the numerator, s goes towards 0. However, we will end up with this limit, s going towards 0, 10 over 21 s squared, which is equal to infinity. So for this case as well, for system A with the third input, steady state error is equal to infinity. Okay, so we, we can see that for the first case, for different inputs, we have some uh, some error, some constant error, 5 over 21 for the first case, and infinity error for the second and third impulse. Maybe we can uh, just write it down here as a conclusion. If r is equal to 5 or 5t or 5t squared, then steady state error will be equal to 5 over 21, infinity, and infinity. This is the conclusion for the first system. Uh, so now we can do the same analysis for the second system as well. 
So here, this is our second system. Therefore, L of S is equal to 100 times S plus 2 times S plus 6 over S times S plus 3 times S plus 3. You can take into account the first input, R of t equal to 5, for t bigger than or equal to 0, therefore R of s, we know that it is equal to, is equal to 5 over s. At the same time, we already know that this, uh, steady state error is equal to this limit s times 1 over 1 plus l of s times r of s as s goes towards 0 if we replace the values for r and l we will get this limit s going to 0 s times 1 over 1 plus l s plus 2, s plus 6, over s times s plus 3, s plus 4, times r of s, which is 5 over s. And here these s's are cancelled with each other. As a result, the limit will be like this. Limit of s going to 0. Uh, So here we will have 5s times s plus 3, s plus 4, and at the denominator we will have s times s plus 3, s plus 4, plus 100 times s plus 2, s plus 6. And as s goes towards 0, this will be equal to 0. So therefore, in this case, for the second system, the first input steady state error is equal to zero. We can check it for the second input as well. For the second input, we have R of t equal to uh, five t. Yes. So R of t is equal to five t for t bigger than or equal to zero, and we know that the corresponding Laplace transform is equal to 5 over s2. We can put it in the equation that we have for the error, as t goes to infinity, we have this limit, limit of s times 1 over 1 plus l of s times r of s, which is equal to this limit, is going towards 0, s times 1 over 1 plus l of s, times 5 over s2. So one of the s's at the denominator will be cancelled out with this s. And if you replace the value for l, we will have this limit. Limit of s going to 0. So we will have 5 at the numerator and 1 plus l of s times 1 over s. L of S is equal to 200 times S plus 2, S plus 6, over S times S plus 3, S plus 4. And if we simplify it further, we will have this limit, S going towards 0, 5, over s plus 100 times s plus 2, s plus 6, over s plus 3 times s plus 4. And this will be finite, the value for the limit. Indeed, the steady state value of the error will be equal to 5 over 0 plus 100 times 2 times 6 over 3 times 4. So 3 times 4 is equal to 12 and 2 times 6 is equal to 12. So they will cancel out 
each other and we will obtain 5 over 100. So in this case, for the second system, second input, steady state error is equal to 5 over 100. Now we can go forward and check it for the third input where r of t is equal to 5 t squared for t bigger than or equal to 0 and we already know that r of s is equal to 10 over s to the power of 3. So we can write the the limit again, t going to infinity is equal to this limit, limit of s going to 0, s times 1 over 1 plus L of s times R of s, which will give us this limit, s going to 0, s times 1 over 1 plus L of s times 10 over s to the power of 3. Again, one of the s is at the denominator, will be cancelled out with the s at the numerator and we will have this limit this limit of s going towards 0 10 times s to the power of s squared plus s squared a of s and if we uh, simplify it we will have this limit limit of s going towards 0 10 over 0 plus so we will have s2 times l of s which is 100 times s plus 2 s plus 6 over s times s plus 3 times s plus 4 and we will have this limit 10 over to 0 s going towards 0 0 plus s times 100 times 12 over 12 and you can see that this is equal to infinity so in this case for the second system third input steady state error is equal to infinity so now we can maybe summarize it for the second system here as well so if r is equal to 5 or 5t or 5t squared then the steady state errors are given as so for the first case we have obtained it, it, it as 0 for the second case 5 over 100 and for the third case infinity so 0 5 over 100 and infinity. So, so now I think you can verify these results with the type of the system as well because this is a type 0 system and the second one is type 1. So you can just compare these results, especially the parts for the infinity steady state error or, in, or zero steady state error and see it coincides with what you expect from the the system okay so this is all for for this video i hope it had uh, it could help you in understanding how to calculate the steady state error for a given system and how does the type of the system is related with the the value for the steady state error uh, so thank you for watching and see you on the